Greetings, hello, and welcome to a review of the minivan keyboard, and that is the keyboard I was just holding up, I swear, I promise. Now, the minivan is a 40% keyboard. It is definitely mini. I can't say that it's a van. I don't see any wheels. Uh, it doesn't have any sliding doors either. I don't really know what, I mean, is this supposed to be a van? I'd love if it, it could like roll around on my desk, you know, like that would be kind of cool. Like maybe like an RC car that's also a keyboard. That would be dope. Uh, you can make like typing a sport. Like yeah, type while this this thing is driving around. But it'd be kind of lame if it was a van, because then you'd just be like a, a soccer mom. Uh, I digress. One out of two for this keyboard. It, it's got the mini not got the van thanks guys okay all right I'm actually gonna start this review now and this review is gonna be in three parts the first part is going to be build quality and aesthetics the second part is gonna be the feel and the third part is gonna be the layout now you know what let's just get right into it does this keyboard look good as you can tell yes this keyboard does look good this keyboard takes after me a lot you know it's gorgeous handsome even it's a well kept no you know I, I can't I can't keep lying about myself um, regardless this keyboard does look good the keycaps match perfectly with the, the the case the aluminum case actually and um, it, it just looks really good all around you know you got nice aluminum feet serial number 69 if you can see that right there this is a review sample. Um, oh, oh, actually, one one thing. I, I need to add a disclaimer in here uh, before I talk anymore. I'm not getting paid to do this. This is a review sample. I'm sending this back as soon as I'm done with it. That's why I'm doing it now. I, I should really send it back. And Oh, I forgot to send out something today. Anyways, uh, this is... So I'm, I'm not making money on this. I'm... I'm Please, I'm not, I'm not making money. I'm doing this for free. If you want to send me money, please do. I would love your, your money. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Build quality and aesthetics. I already talked about the aesthetics. It looks really good. I love it. Uh, build quality. You've got an aluminum case, aluminum plate, aluminum feet with little rubber pads on them. The rubber pads fit in these little like indents in the case. So they don't move around. Excellent. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. It doesn't, well, it slides around on your desk if you like intentionally do it. But when you're typing, it's really solid and it's not going to move. So build quality is on point for this keyboard. It's excellent. It feels really nice. This is an end game level build quality. Like y you couldn't want anything more out of this if you tried. I mean, what else could you want? Aluminum case, aluminum plate, aluminum feet? You're done. Like, just just stop. It's time to stop. You've, you've, you've reached it. You're done. Um, now, I guess I could... I, I think I'm going to include the keycap quality uh, in, ter in the, like, feel section of this because that's more... I feel like that's more related to the, the feel of the keyboard than anything because it's kind of a, a major point at least in this review so with that let's just get right into it what switches does this keyboard have obviously you can get your own um so you, you're not locked down by any you know you, you don't have to get the gateron blues that are on this and um yeah so i have gateron blues it types Pretty well and the reason I say pretty well instead of very well or excellent is because the keycaps and that's why I wanted to bring this up in this portion is because keycaps do influence the feel of a keyboard a lot you have really nice thick PBT you're gonna be having a wild night uh, hopefully not so wild that you end up getting hit by a Jeep like I did yeah anyways um this it, it okay so it does feel good it doesn't feel as good as it could with other keycaps so like gmk pbt even 
So the the new the keycaps that he's making the the drop that I think just ended actually uh, DSA light cycle that's gonna feel really nice and it's gonna match really well. So if you're like wanting to make this board even better, go for those. Um, the the keycaps that come here are, I would say that they're they're mediocre. They're not great. They're not bad. They're double shot, but they're thin. So you, you get kind of a trade-off. They feel kind of cheap. And they're, they're, they're all right. They're all right. Will they do the job? Yes, they look great. They're not going to wear out on you. You can use them for a really long time. Solid. I prefer other caps, but, you know, pretty damn good for stock, ca stock caps. And that'll probably be the best. They're, they're probably the best stock out of any board you'll ever get um yeah so it comes with a bunch of switches as i mentioned you don't have to get gather on blues which means that you don't have to piss off all your classmates remember if you plan to take this keyboard around this is a psa don't get clicky switches i love mechanical keyboards i love clicky switches i love hearing clicky switches but if some jackass was sitting right next to me with clicky switches, I would probably just, I, I don't know, tell him, hey man, it's time to fucking stop. Uh, but yeah, just remember, if you're taking this places, get quiet key, or switches, get like brown, don't get browns, browns are bad in my opinion, I, I, sandy reds. Ew, gross, gross, disgusting. Anyways, clears, reds, blacks, whatever you want, you know. The Gateron versions are obviously smoother, so. And cheaper, actually. Gateron's generally a better choice of Switch, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, the only thing that you can't really get is clears, but those are like Zelios or when Keyless Clear. Anyways. You get the idea. You can get whatever you want on these, and it'll feel really, really nice. Just remember, if you're taking it around, get quiet switches. Uh, yeah, so to sum this portion of the review up, yes, it does feel good. doesn't feel quite as good because of the keycaps, and it has a bunch of switches. It even has Alps, actually. So you can get Matthias Quiet Clicks, which are apparently the best tactile switch out there. I don't really know, I can't confirm. I've heard good things about it, and that's all I know. So if you're interested in trying Alps, this would be a good board for you. Um, yeah, let's move on to the layout. And this is going to be the hardest portion of the review. And the reason I say that is because what works for me may not work for you. And that's just kind of how it goes. As for this keyboard, there are two layouts. You have this which is the standard layout. <clears throat> and you have one with arrow keys down here. And um, as for which layout I prefer, it's this one. And the reason why is because you get comma, period, slash, and semicolon. You get all of those keys on the base layer, which is huge because it's annoying to have to do that on the FN layer. You get, like, you use those all the time. So it, it's nice having those on the base layer. And plus, you only need a 1U here. Like, I, I use a 1U FN on every single board. I, not every single board, but I use a 1U FN on, like, all my HHKB layouts, which is, like, half my keyboards at this point. So I'm totally used to it. It's totally fine. It works for me. I don't have a need for dedicated arrows and in fact dedicated arrows will mess up the symbols here because you they remove one i believe and that's just kind of annoying like i'd rather have the symbols than the arrows you're losing a lot of space on an already compact keyboard if you put the arrows in my opinion like the FN arrows will work just fine. If you really, like, absolutely need dedicated arrows, then get it. Otherwise, I would probably go for this. And that's just my opinion. Obviously, you can get the arrows if you'd like. I 
no problem if you do that, you know, go for it. So that's on you. Um, but as for other features of this layout, you know, you got FN keys all over the place. The default layer is actually really nice. The only thing I did was, so this is my space bar now, and this is my enter, so I just swapped these. And then I made this an alt key instead of a windows key, and that's it. It's all I really needed to change. Um, other than that, it worked perfectly for me as just, you know, daily, daily driver, as in like, just kind of talking on Discord, Reddit, you know. I don't really do that much um, with my keyboards, aside from, like, I have a bunch of them, and I have all these, like, ridiculous keyboards, but I don't really use their functionality, if I'm going to be quite honest. I use, like, alphas, and then the numbers, symbols, that's about it, arrow keys. I don't really use the nav cluster at all, um, or the F row. So, this keyboard actually worked really well for me, and I, I really did like the fact that it was just kind of easy to pick up. I really didn't have any issues using it for just daily tasks. Uh, it worked perfectly for me, at least for like Discord and all that. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty pretty nice to use. You know, I, I didn't have any major issues. It was, I mean, originally I just had to learn the layout, and then once I did, I was I was pretty set. Um, the only thing that I probably might change in the future is the place of the apostrophe so that it's on the right side of the keyboard instead of the left. Just a personal thing of mine. I don't really care. Um, yeah. Overall, layout's great. You have a lot of flexibility in terms of the layout. It's fully programmable, so you can do whatever you want. There's a really nice guide on his website. Just follow it, and you will get it done perfectly. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's kind of, I mean, what I want to emphasize with the layout is that this is just me, like it, me commenting on like, I can use this layout. This works perfectly for me. However, you might pick up this keyboard and you might be like, man, what the hell is this? I need to change everything. And the thing is, once you do get that layout that works for you, it will work um, like it. Once you find a layout that you're comfortable with, it just, it, it'll just work for you. Like, it'll just click, you know? <laughs> click. Yeah, all right, kill me. Jeep can't. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so basically layouts are highly personal, especially for 40%. Like, I know 40% guys that are just like die hard 40%, you know, and they're, they're like, I only use a 40%, 40% is the only thing I need. Um, I love the fact that I don't have to move my hands as far, that's a huge plus. I can just stay in the home row and access everything. Th they'll like, their wife and kids are burning in a building and they save their keyboard instead. That's like the diehard I'm talking about, you know? Uh, anyways, that's just like kind of how 40% works. Like you just have to, you just have to find something that works for you. Like. You just gotta play around, find something that works, and once you find it, you're good to go, and you're just set for like, rest of your time. Um, now, finding that might be kind of difficult, might be kind of a tedious process, but once you do it, it's pretty rewarding and nice, and I mean, like I said, I didn't have to change much, just three keys, and I was good to go, and it was, it was pretty nice, you know? I, I gotta say, I enjoyed using this keyboard, I enjoyed typing on this keyboard, I enjoyed having it around and yeah all in all I would say that this is an end game 40% keyboard and you basically get everything you need in the, the kit you don't really need to do anything else it's pretty perfect as it comes I would replace the keycaps that's just me but other than that <clears throat> don't really think that there's more you could want from it I mean you got like the aluminum case, aluminum plate, fully programmable, aluminum feet, feels good, looks good, got a lot of options, you know. Um, you got a lot of switch options, got case color options, you, you have everything you really need in terms of a 40% keyboard. And that's why the minivan is pretty great, if I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm going to be honest here i'm gonna say i'm not the biggest fan of 40 percent keyboards so 
I'm probably gonna buy one because I just want to have one around and I, I enjoy using it um, but yeah you know 40% is like it's either I, I think it, it's kind of polarizing it's like you either love it or you just want to toy around with it and either way you're totally fine like this is an excellent keyboard to toy around with and it's also an excellent keyboard to get an immense amount of stuff done it's got a great like it has everything you could need it's it's just a great 40 percent keyboard and that's what i love about it and y you can just you can do anything you know it, it's the keyboard is your oyster it's salty it lives in the ocean it's definitely not a van i think those are all characteristics of oysters <laughs> Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably do some other reviews in the future. This is just gonna be, uh, I don't know. It's, it's when I get boards, you know. Uh, so, oh, another thing, I just want to emphasize my disclaimer again. So I'm not getting paid. I have to send this back. I I don't get anything from this. I'm, this isn't like, Evan's not like, hey man give me a good review i'll give you like 20 bucks like nah i i just think that this is a great keyboard and i'm gonna just speak honestly about it um yeah that's that's all i gotta say about this keyboard it's it's pretty excellent you know i i really i do enjoy it so big thank you to evan uh, i really appreciate you sending me this and letting me have this for a little while I promise I'll get it back to you in better condition than I am currently. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh, shouts out to my babe. You know where you're at. I don't.